Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 10th of July to the 14th of July 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs that we're looking at this week. And we're going to highlight the key areas of support and resistance in those pairs, as well as targets that we will be looking for in the coming week. As you can see, we finished last week at all new highs for the year on the ETI fund. And as part of our drive to provide an ethical Forex education service, the ETI fund results are all third party verified. And in all honesty, at ETI, we don't believe there is a valid reason for any Forex education provider not to provide third party verified results. So for those of you out there that are struggling with your trading, and if you'd like to learn how to trade the Forex market like the banks and the institutions do, namely with psychology and market structure, not with indicators, why not check us out at the ETI website and see how we can get you into the 5% of traders trading these markets successfully, and how we can do that without pushing hugely, and in our opinion, unnecessarily expensive courses. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. Now, last week we sat just below the range bottom of the US dollar index at the 12,104 area down here. And we said if we get a break back inside the range and above the 12,104 area of resistance, we're going to be looking for a move and a rally up towards the 12,148 area, which was the kind of intermediate range. Uh, point on the whole range overall. So you can see we have top of the range up in this area and the bottom of the range down in this area with the 12,148 roughly as the intermediate point on this range. Now we go into next week with a bearish bias on the US dollar index because as you can see, price is moving to the downside and we are now approaching the downward sloping trend line up near the 12,175 area. And we have also been waving up and down either side of the 12,148 area of support and resistance, which shows there is a battle going on here between the buyers and the sellers, uh, and they are trying to find a direction around this point, which is not uncommon when you find key levels of support and resistance. Uh, they do become decision points and you can have some disagreement around these points as you can see here. We are, however, looking for a continuation of this move here to the downside. The only question is, are we going to get a small pullback up towards the 12,175 area and a retest of the downward sloping trend line first, in which case we will end up with something like this before we get a sell off and a continuation to the downside in the US dollar index. Now, as long as the US dollar index stays below this downward sloping trend line here, we will maintain our bearish bias on the US dollar index. However, if we get a break above this downward sloping trend line here, we will look to the upside to the 12200 area as the next key area of resistance. But what we would like to see from here is some further declines, possibly after a retest of the downward sloping trend line here. And we'll be looking first of all down towards the 12104 area here. And we do have an overall target to the downside of 12,030. However, just bear in mind, this may take a couple of weeks to get down to this area. And we may see it testing uh, at the 12,080, as well as the 12,104 on the way down to the overall target of the 12,030. Next, we're gonna have a look at oil. Now, oil last week, we said uh, we were looking for oil to trade into the 47 dollar a barrel area up here and you can see it did in fact trade into this area last week once it traded into this area it did sell off and it found resistance at this point and it traded back down to the 45 dollar barrel area which we highlighted and from there after spiking up a little bit it did trade down into the 43752 area of support which we also had highlighted from last week now as you can see with oil we are sitting between the 45 dollar barrel mark and the 43.752 area down here 
and we are also sitting at this upward sloping trend line in this area here so oil is going to be a very simple one for us next week we are going to look to trade oil to the upside above the $45 barrel mark so if we get a move like this we'll be looking back up to a target of $47 a barrel and to the downside, if we get a break down below the 43.752 area down here, we're going to be looking for a trade down to the 42.181 area of support down here. So just to clarify on oil, we'll go into next week with a neutral bias as it sits between the $45 a barrel mark and the 43.752 area. We will change that neutral bias to a long bias. Once we get a break above the $45 a barrel mark, and we will change that neutral bias to a short bias once we get a trade down below the 43.752. And we'll be looking for a target down towards the 42.181 on oil. So the first pair we're going to look at is the Euro US dollar. Now the Euro US dollar has been creating this ball flag, which is a continuation pattern to the upside. As we can see here, we did actually break out to the upside late last week. And we now sit around the 1.1400 area over here. Now we are looking for a target to the upside and we are looking to initiate longs on this pair if we get the right kind of bullish formations in the euro US dollar. And we're looking for a target up to the 1.15280 area up here. Now just bear in mind that we could be on for a test of the downward sloping trend line in the US dollar index as highlighted previously. And if we get that push to the upside, we could see the euro US dollar pulling back to the, to the broken downward sloping trend line here, and possibly even down to the 1.12840 area of support. So broken as resistance over here, coming back to active support. It depends on how deeply that push to the upside is on the US dollar index. But either way, whether we get a pullback first or whether we get those bullish formations appearing in the area it sits now, we're going to be looking at initiating longs on the euro US dollar up towards the 1.15280 area next week. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now last week in the forecast we did highlight the 113.703 area as the next target we were looking for to the upside. Price did trade into this area last week and as you can see it actually closed the week above this area so going into next week, what we are looking for on the US dollar Japanese yen is a potential continuation to the upside, possibly a pullback and a retest of the 113703. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the 114.570. And we're looking for this to coincide with a little push higher in the US dollar index. Now, if we trade into the 114.570 area of resistance over here, this is going to be a good area to look for bearish formations and we could see a reversal at this key level of resistance now if we get bearish formations in this area and we look to trade the reversal to the downside we're going to be looking to trade down towards the 113.703 area pretty much where it sits now and then down below this even further we'll be looking back down towards the 1112.920 area of support in the US dollar Japanese yen. So just to confirm we will be looking for bullish formations in this area here and we'll be looking to take longs up towards the 114.570 if the opportunity arises. And we will be looking at the 114.570 area of resistance as a potential reversal point where we'll be looking for bearish formations to appear on this chart. And if we get those bearish formations in this area at this key level of resistance, we'll be looking first of all back down to the 113.703 and then possibly even further down to the 1112.920 on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now pound US dollar is in an overall uptrend as you can see here, it has started to push higher, push higher, push higher. We did highlight the 1.30472 area as the next key area of resistance on this pair. Now we didn't trade into this last week, although this, these are areas, these are not specific levels. So as you can see, this could have been fulfilled over here. Either way, we did get a break down below the 1.29503 area, which as you can see is a key area of support and resistance tested a number of times in the past. And once we got a break down below here, we were looking now down towards the 1.28087 to the downside down here. So as long as price stays below this downward sloping trend line on the pound US dollar, we're going to be looking for a pullback into this area here. 
And we're going to be looking to initiate shorts if we see the bearish formations and patterns that we're going to be looking for in this area here. And we're going to be looking at initiating those shorts down towards the 1.2807. Area down here, which is the next key area of support on this pair. If and when we break back above the 1.2950 area of resistance here and also out of this downward sloping trend line, then we will be looking back up to the resistance area of 1.30472 once again on this pair. And as you can see from the US dollar index, we do anticipate further declines in the US dollar index in the more longer term view. And so if we get that, we will be looking for moves higher on the pound US dollar. However, we are going to be looking for shorts down to the 1.2808 area of support first, unless we get a breakout of this downward sloping trend line. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie US dollar has been trending to the upside, as you can see, and we have had a pullback in the Aussie US dollar last week. We are now looking for a continuation of the Aussie to the upside against the dollar. And we're looking for a continuation of this pullback and this retracement here. Now, what that means is we're going to be looking for bullish formations in the area where it sits now. You can see it is actually sitting at a key level of support at the 0.7580 area. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations in this area, we could be looking all the way up to the 0.77540, which we see as the next key area of resistance on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand US dollar. Now, New Zealand US dollar has been getting a little bit choppy as we get quite extended in this overall uptrend, as you can see here. Price has been moving up for a while. We did have a pullback last week, and we do anticipate more moves to the upside in New Zealand US dollar as it is still in an uptrend and the uptrend is still intact. Now, you can see price has been finding support at the 0.72616 area over here. And so as a result, we will be looking for bullish formations to appear in the area where we sit now. And if we get those bullish formations in this area next week on the New Zealand US dollar, we're going to be looking at initiating long positions on the New Zealand US dollar. And we're going to be looking for a target of 0.7375 roughly to the upside. So all the while this uptrend remains intact in the New Zealand US dollar. And as long as price maintains itself above the 0.72616 area of support here, we will be looking at initiating longs if we get the right kind of bullish formations in this pair. And we'll be looking at initiating those longs up towards the target of 0.7375. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. Now, US dollar franc is in a downtrend and we are looking for a continuation of this downtrend. Now we have a retracement in this pair. Now, we are looking to the downside for a double bottom target down here at 0.955500. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're also going to be looking for a target, the next target and next key area of support on this pair below the 0.95500 area is the 0.9500 area. Now, just bear in mind, if we get a little push higher in the US dollar index, we could see a retest or even a test rather of the 0.9700 area of resistance up here, as you can see, acted as support over here, support over here, resistance over here, support, support, resistance. So it is a very well defined area. Now it failed here as support. So we could get that test now as resistance at this level. So either way, we are going to be looking at initiating shorts on this pair. The question is, we're going to be looking for bearish formations in the area where it sits now. And if we get those bearish formations, we'll be looking to initiate shorts from this area down to the targets of 0.95500 and then further down to the 0.9500 psychological area. However, if we start to get a pullback first in the US dollar index, we see the 0.9700 psychological area as a very good area to look for those bearish formations uh, and a good place to initiate the shorts down towards the targets that we're looking for on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now, US dollar CAD isn't a downtrend. As you can see, we have a downward slope and trend line here. Now, price has been accumulating underneath the key area of resistance at 1.29952. And as you can see, it accumulated under here for a number of days. 
and at the end of last week we did get a breakdown through the accumulation area here so what we're now looking for going into next week is a pullback into this area over here and we're going to look be looking for bearish formations in this area and we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the next key area of support on this pair which is the 1.27992. Already, I mean, we are going to be looking down to the 1.28 psychological area down here. The next pair we're going to look at is Frank Yen. Now, last week, Frank Yen was creating a continuation pattern to the upside in the form of an ascending triangle. Now, price broke out of this ascending triangle pattern last week. And as you can see, it's hanging around just above the 118 area over here. Now, what we're going to be looking for this week is a pullback down towards the top of the ascending triangle, or possibly even further down to the area of support at the 117.017. But either way, we're going to be looking for bullish formations to appear on this pair. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target of 119170. So if we get a pullback from where we're sitting now next week and we see some bullish formations appearing in this area, we're going to look to initiate longs up towards the target of 119.170, which will be a continuation of this ascending triangle pattern from last week. The next pair we're going to look at is Pound Oz. Now, Pound Oz last week traded up towards the target we were looking at at the 1.71498 area over here. Now, it didn't quite reach that area. I mean, it did come close. However, it sold off before trading into this area, and that sell-off now could provide us with a nice opportunity to initiate some longs on this pair next week. So if we get the right kind of bullish formations in the area we sit now, we're going to be looking to initiate longs on the pound Oz, and we're going to be looking back up to the same target that we had last week, and that is the 1.71498 area to the upside on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand Frank. Now, New Zealand Frank really did not go anywhere last week. Uh, we did have the 0.70448 area as a key area of resistance highlighted last week. And you can see price did come in and tag this area over here. Now, going into this week, what we are looking for is bearish formations to appear on this pair. Now, if they appear in this area, that will provide a good opportunity to look to initiate shorts on this pair. And we're going to be looking down towards the target highlighted last week, which is the 0.69148 area down here. Now, if we start to get a bit of a pullback to the upside in the New Zealand franc, we will look for a retest of the 0.70448 area of resistance over here. And if we get a retest of this area and we start to see bearish formations appearing in this area, then this will be a very good area to look to initiate shorts on those bearish formations if they appear. And we'll be looking again down to the target of the 0.69148, which is what we highlighted last week. And finally, the next pair we're going to look at is Aussie New Zealand. Now, Aussie New Zealand is sitting in quite a clear range, as we can see, tested the bottom of the range numerous times over here. And we sit now at the bottom of the range at the 1.0411 area. Now, going into next week, what we're going to be looking for is bullish formations to appear in the area we are now. And if we get those bullish formations appearing, we're going to look to initiate longs on the Aussie New Zealand. And we're going to be looking for a target back up to the top of the range at the 1.05490 area up here. So quite an easy one on the Aussie New Zealand. We can see a clearly defined range here. We are going to be looking for bullish formations to appear as of next week. And we're going to look to initiate longs back up to the top of the range at the 1.05492 area. So that is it for this week, guys. As always, please let me know if you like this video by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you all have a fantastic and profitable week next week. Take care, everybody, and trade safely.